Hi Leo, welcome to your Harsh Truth reading for November 2018. I started talking and forgot I wasn't recording, so we'll just pick up where I left off. This is the Queen of Swords reversed as the bottom of the deck energy, so maybe you're feeling kind of emotional um, and not very organized or discerning, like you're, you're kind of confused and um, about a situation, or you might have cut something off. This could be the bitch card. Someone's being a bitch. Someone's having to be a bitch, possibly. Take no prisoners. Somebody could be very emotional. So it's just, this is not a balanced card, a card of seeing clearly. This is a card of probably mixed emotions and mixed actions and disorganization at the very least. Okay, so what you would like to be true is... Sorry, uh, King of Pentacles reversed, Knight of Cups reversed, Two of Wands reversed, Three of Cups reversed, the Tower, and the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Awesome. All right, so Leo, what you want to be true is that perhaps someone, um, perhaps the reason why there's strife in this relationship is because things are not as secure as either of you would like, or... Uh, that this is a period of insecurity or instability. It's not the norm. It's just because maybe someone doesn't have the job that they want or their, their security is less than they want it to be. Um, things are in flux. They're not stable. So this is situational. So that's what you'd want to be true, the reason for the strife. What you don't want to be true is lack of planning here. Um, and that this is as good as it's ever going to get, that this is the reality of the relationship, that things will be insecure, that someone w might be very controlling and on edge and domineering and just that it's never going to become stable. You don't want that. You don't want um, there to be a lack of planning or an ability to plan, to move forward, to be able to make plans, to, to have things start to become stable. So these two are echoing each other. What is true is that someone in the relationship is uh, emotionally volatile and there are control issues and this is this is hot and cold this is knight in shining armor and then leaving you out in the cold um, you know knight in shining armor rescuing you and then dumping you off the next castle onto their next quest this could be a an engagement or a proposal that didn't come to fruition um, oftentimes this is indicative of an energy that's very uh, moody or jealous, just unstable emotionally. Hot and cold, hot and cold. Okay? And so then we come to what you want to happen. Now that's interesting because this is, maybe this is about you being able to meet somebody and to be transplanted out of this mess. It's almost like give me a reason to leave, you know? Um... Three of Cups reversed here speaks of indulging, speaks of third-party situations, speaks of the beginnings of unhealthy habits or just trying, you know, unhealthy habits to try and cope and get through a situation, which is kind of speaking to hoping that the whatever's going on is, in, is temporary in nature, just like this was. Um, but what you don't want to happen is that this relationship is just fraught with bad luck, constantly things outside of your control affecting the stability and happiness in the relationship and this is the card of you have no control but you're being affected by it so you have no control over what is happening but you're being affected by it and it's like it's maddening because there's you, what can you do you know and it's typically because of someone else not being stable or doing their part things like that like you feel this is also some of you could be feeling trapped because you have absolutely no control and yet you're affected by it. Um, this is feeling like you're just having, you know, a run of bad luck. Um, maybe needing closure or, well, obviously needing the bad luck to end. But needing closure, this is a cycle. Is it going to end? When's my good luck going to begin? That sort of thing. And what's going to happen is a shakeup, an upheaval. A catastrophic event oftentimes though this is just I'm finding lately that this is more about a truth being revealed or you finding something out it's kind of like the ten of swords 
rather than this horribly life altering event. This is just kind of a wake up call. So take it for what it's worth, but this is upheaval. This is, um, I have not, nothing else eye opening. It could be a catastrophic upheaval or destruction. It is the tearing down of what doesn't serve you anymore. Okay. All right. So, um, mm. I don't feel like I need to clarify anything here. It's pretty straightforward, right? Yeah. This is, you're, you're kind of between a rock and a hard place, you know? Um, <laughs> And I, I was going to say something, but well, do you want crap or diarrhea? I mean, it's, it's not, this is not ideal, obviously. Um, I just, I, let me clarify this three of cups reversed here because, geez, <laughs> why do you want that to be true? This is about indulging. Well, you know what? That's, wait, I didn't know that. This isn't about cheating, I don't think. I, I think this is, or if it is, it could be third party situation, but this is about, I think this speaks to the temporary nature of something like, oh, just our instability is due to an event rather than, you know, this is kind of how it's going to be the whole time because somebody has um, emotional stability issues. So it will always be fraught with bad luck and negativity. It will always be in unstable and insecure. You won't be able to get ahead or move forward. Um, there's always going to be something getting in the way, if not someone, something getting in the way between you and your partner. Um, so let's clarify this tower here. Clarify the tower. What's this tower. So we could have Aries here. This is. Hmm. So this is about control and this is about, sometimes this is the bully card and this is the bully card. Okay. So, uh, this could be that you're just, I, I think what it is though, since it's in the upright, is somebody comes along, a trusted person comes along and says, look, you got to cut this out of your life. This is your, you know, your relationships on life support and you're in the ICU right now. You got to. You got to make a decision. You can't go down with the ship. This is, you need to, you need to fight and you need to get out. This is not a healthy situation. It's a wake up call. It's, you know, again, it, it, this is general, so it could apply for everybody, but this could also be that, um, you both go to counseling. This is a trusted advisor, counsel, solid, you know, stable, and you hash it out in the counselor's office. Could be that after seeing all this, I'm like, oh my gosh, somebody comes along and is like, look, let's go get your stuff. Let's go. You're going, and you're going to have to fight for your stuff because this person's going to be a jerk. Um, worst case scenario, I always go there because I don't like surprises, <laughs> but it very well could be that, um, the wake up call is getting into therapy and your partner realizes how unhappy you are. And there's a turnaround. What's going on with this King of Pentacles reverse? What's that? This instability here. This is King of Pentacles reversed. Why do you want that to be true? Because it's, yeah. Yeah, this is just a lack of hope and faith. And the, it's like somebody's just feeling discouraged. They're not themselves, right? And they're, they just need to get over stuff. They need to quit playing the victim. They need to quit being, you know, passive aggressive about stuff. Quit being petty and get over things. Quit doubting yourself. Come on, get a move on, that sort of thing. Speaking this, and the funny thing is, is that this is, this is part of somebody's personality or this is like heavy duty stuff because it's a major arcana. Um, so the fact that we have a, a mature person probably set in their ways, or at least that energy is very stubborn. And then we've got these two major arcana, which is like heavy duty talking about a person's personality or, or, you know, leopard doesn't change his spots too, too much. And. So we've got somebody that's always kind of the pessimist and that always plays the victim. And I think that's what you're hoping for, that it's temporary, that that's, it's just because they're, they're not where they want to be. They're, they're just feeling insecure or they don't have the job that they want, but it's coming. Like it's, it's a temporary situation rather than, nope, it's just, 
pretty much always going to be that way. You don't want that to be true. Um, like I said, the reality is somebody's emotionally volatile or has like emotional control issues. So, okay. Let's get some Oracle cards for you, Leo. For Leo, what does Leo need to know about their love life? The truth, please, <laughs> for Leo. Universal heart, creation, you are open, you can do anything you want, you just set your mind to it, things are coming together for you, things will come together for you. Um, it, this could go either way. Me personally, I'm like, yeah, when you, when you get, when you walk away from this situation, but this, like I said, this could also speak to getting into counseling and then you hashing it out in counseling with this trusted advisor here, okay? Um, could be your partners in Aries and you just have the fight that ends everything that all right that's it you know uh it could be that again some somebody that you trust talks some sense into you and, and tells you to fight back or to fight for your stuff or that sort of thing but either way um whatever you need to do or get you have within you already don't be afraid i feel like this is saying once you leave this situation behind you can begin to create the life that you want, which would be true in any situation. But this is also about manifesting and things changing for the better for you. So it could be that you and your partner hash it out, that you get with, into counseling or you have that fight that clears the air that really lets each other know how each other feels. That sort of gets to the bottom of the issues. All right, what else for Leo? What else for Leo? A jewel within a teardrop. This is appreciation, spiritual, and emotional reconnection. So it's kind of looking like you hash it out. <laughs> because we've got things turning around for the better, and it's all by your hand or your, you know, your willingness not to back down and to fight for what you believe in and to create and manifest. And then we've got emotional and spiritual reconnection appreciation again it could go either way it could be that you break free of this situation and you're able to finally start feeling again and relaxing and processing things and you get that rest and recuperation so that you can manifest you can spiritually reconnect and emotionally come alive again could go either way but since this said we'll see spiritual and emotional reconnection that could be with your higher self because you finally are alone and have time to think or it could be with this partner could be with this partner. Everybody's situation will be unique, obviously, but it could go either way, right? Someone's on the warpath, though. Either someone has shut everything down and is, is drawing a line in the sand, or someone's, these two energies are very similar right now, at least for this reading. So I'm glad to see that you're no, you're no wallflower about this, you know? You matter. All right, Leo, Leo. This is, okay, so this is either letting go or f not fleeing, but letting go or leaving, um, offering a way out, seeing both sides, that sort of thing. I feel like that's what this is. I feel like it could go either way right here because this is, Finally taking those steps to either leave or to stand your ground, stay but stand your ground. This is someone releasing. So are you the person releasing yourself or how does this put? Are you the person that is captive and now you get released or are you the one doing the releasing? Do you know what I mean? No. Okay. Um, this speaks to a love relationship, unconditional love, because that's what cats teach us. Typically, we look at the animal totems and we've been biding our time. We've been thinking things over the mental chest, so to speak. And somebody finally makes a decision to give somebody else an out or, uh, an ultimatum. 
this speaks to being at the crossroads. So I feel like that's indicative of where you're at and what you're going through. This could either be you standing your ground and you hashing it out, or it could be like, okay, well, I've said my piece, now I'm leaving. Might have already left though, because we've got this non-communication here or just standing your ground and what's what, no emotion whatsoever, just rah. So it could be you're, you're upset, you're mad, <laughs> mad. Um, could go either way, honestly. It could be a reconnection after you hash it out. It could be someone coming to collect you and get you out of the situation. Okay, Leo, that is your harsh truth for this situation. Um, it's, it's not good right now, but it could go either way. And I think that depends on everybody's unique situation and also what you want, honestly. Because you could, whatever you want to do, you can. Even though this person's really controlling, I think you are the emotional barometer. You're the solid one. You're the stable one. So they might, you know, their bark might be worse than their bite and blah, blah, blah. But at the end of the day, if you put your foot down and said, this is how it's going to be. This is what we're going to do. This is what we need. Blah, 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 blah. If you take the leadership role, I think they would be compelled to listen because they, that's not them. They don't have that. I think that's why they're so controlling and so rude is because they're feeling insecure. But you coming from a place of authenticity and just being like, no, nope, I've had enough. Da, 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 da. That might turn all this, this emotional instability around for you. So, okay. So Leo, that's what I have. I hope it was helpful. Um, that's your harsh truth. I'm going to do this again in two weeks. So I hope you check that one out as well. Thank you for stopping by and take care.